everybody, it's Brayden again, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick little toddler hack, how to get your kids to get all of the vitamins and nutrients they need from the good food that they don't want to eat. So yeah, if that's going to be something that interests you, stay tuned and okay, watch. Okay guys, let's get right into it. So here's a couple of tips and tricks that I do to get Caroline to eat all of the things um, that she doesn't typically want to eat. So. Um, from the get-go, when she started eating, she was a very um, easy-going kid. Like, she would eat the veggies and the fruits and the things that most kids don't like. And then as she got older, about two, you know, rolls around, and then it was very hard to get her to eat those things. Um, even fruit, which, you know, she would eat bananas all the time and things like that, and all of a sudden, she just didn't really have an interest in those things anymore. And so I've come up with a couple of little tricks and tips and hacks, things that have worked for me to get her to eat those things when she normally wouldn't. So yeah. Okay, getting right into it. My first tip, um, this is like disgusting, this this drink. I don't like it at all. It's this Daily Greens by Bolt House Farms. And it's got, um, here it shows you all the stuff that it has. Apples, cucumbers, um, celery, all of those things. Um, spinach, kale, all kinds of stuff. I don't like this at all. I think it's awful, but Caroline does. And I can't really get her to eat greens. So I put this in her water. I don't put a whole thing. I usually will put, I'll like dilute it down and I'll do like a quarter or so or a third of it. It kind of just depends on the day. And if she is kind of like, I don't know, extra picky that day, I'll also throw in some uh, little water enhancer squirts in there. So I have like three kinds. I really like this. This is the Stir brand. I really like this one um, specifically because it's just, it's it's all natural. So it's got, it's got vitamin C in this kind. This is the tropical mango. And then I have the boldly blue and blackberry. And it's very good for her and she likes it. So um, I don't always just add it with this, but I will just add it, you know, just to water by itself and she drinks and chugs it. So if you've got littles that don't really like their water, um, these are definitely good add-ins. Um, I just do like one little squirt and I don't let her have, I, I make her drink actual water. Like she can't just have the enhancers all the time, but we don't drink juice around here. We don't drink pop or any of those things. And so if we don't drink it, she doesn't drink it. So that is kind of our substitute for those items. Um, and then I have one more little enhancer. Um, if you are a mama that does not like all the artificial color, cause these do have some um, color in them dye. If you're like, nope, that's not for me. Um, I also have this natural um, enhancer brand uh, right there. So this is all natural. It literally is clear when it comes out. They can't even tell there's anything in it. Uh, this is the strawberry watermelon enhancer flavor and she really likes that one. It's pretty good too. Okay, next is squeeze pouches. I know that this probably isn't a huge shock. Um, this is the Go Go Squeeze brand. I know that a lot of you mamas probably already know all about squeezy pouches and you use them. Um, but my hack for this is get the ones with the vegetables. There's the applesauce with strawberry and fruits and all that. But if your kiddo is one that doesn't want to eat the veggies, definitely do a little bit, whoop, <laughs> do a little bit of searching on the label and find the ones that have more vegetables rather than fruit. So yeah. Okay, my next tip. This is one of my favorites. I don't, we don't really do a lot of candy and sweets and stuff over here. We're not trying to punish her by any means, but it's just not something we eat a lot of. And so um, when she asks for candy, um, I give her these craisins. So this is the milk chocolate version of the craisins. And it's just cranberries, dried cranberries covered in chocolate. I also get the ones that are covered in plain yogurt the ones that are covered in flavored yogurt, like strawberry. And um, we're actually running low and I need to get some more. Um, I actually just gave her some of these. So I give her a little portion of these and then I give a larger portion of raisins. So I buy just the, you know, sun-made, regular, big thing of raisins. And so I do these little cups and I fill up mostly with raisins and then I put the little yogurt or chocolate yogurt flavored ones um, on top. 
Uh, cranberries are super good for your bladder and so I like that it's kind of got another function to it as opposed to just being a good snack. And so yeah, it's a bit of a healthier alternative to like the really sugary stuff. And I got one more Bolt House Farm Farms recommendation. So this is the breakfast smoothie. Um, I know it comes, so this one is the strawberry parfait, but I know it also has, they also have a mango parfait, and I don't know if they have any other flavors, but I know of these for sure. Can we go down? <laughs> she actually just had those raisins that I was telling you guys about, so she has her little cup out for it. These are the bowls that we use for that. So that's what we use for the cranberries and the raisins. I'll give you a couple more, okay. So the next thing on my list, it's kind of weird because I don't have the actual package, but this is the Dino Buddies brand of chicken nuggets. These are like alphabet shaped and they are whole wheat. So the breading on the chicken is whole wheat. So I definitely recommend, I know that there's probably several brands that do it, but I definitely recommend getting the whole wheat brand, the whole wheat breading for your chicken nuggets. So kids love chicken nuggets. They're gonna be eating chicken nuggets all the time. It's pretty much the only way I can get her to really eat chicken. Um, so having an option that's a bit healthier for her and it's a different alternative to just the regular breading is really nice and she doesn't know the difference and she likes them just the same. So that works for me. My last hack is the Zarbies brand gummies. So this is the complete toddler multivitamin with the B complex and it's ages two to four. These are little gummies. They're made with honey. Um, I know that Starbucks has a lot of different um, flavors and for different ages and such, but we started giving these to her um, not too long ago and just two gummies a day. And it, and me and Josh, we both take gummy vitamin or I take gummy vitamins, he takes pills, but we both take vitamins every day, multivitamins. And I was like, you know, it's really not cool that he and I are doing that, but she's not. So I found those and I'm definitely a fan. She likes them. I have no problem getting her to take them. They're always a treat for her. Um, and I can rest assured knowing she's getting all of the vitamins that she needs that she may not be getting through her diet. So yeah, if you've got a tricky little kiddo that doesn't really like to eat all of the greens and the veggies and the fruits and all the good things that they should be eating, I hope that this hacked, this hack helped you a bit. And maybe you guys can add a few of these items into your daily routine. So I hope that this inspired you and gave you some new ideas that you can add to your to toddler's diet. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, like and subscribe, and I hope you stick around for more videos. And if you are a subscriber and you watch my videos regularly, stand by for a little bit of an announcement. But other than that, bye. Okay guys, so if you're still here and you're subscribed and you wanna know more about my channel, I just wanted to quickly say that I have decided to dial back on my video uploads. I've decided that I wanna keep my content up to par with my standards and I feel like three videos a week might just be a little bit too much. I think it was a great way to start out my channel, but I think to keep a good quality content going, I'm gonna go ahead and lessen it to two videos a week. So I'm gonna be posting now on Monday and Friday. So my Wednesday upload is no more. This will be my last Wednesday upload until further notice. Um, and also I just feel like uh, I need more time with my family and sometimes this can take up a little bit too much of my time. So Mondays and Fridays will be my new upload days. So if you're already subscribed, just keep watching out for those and that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Thank you.